In this video, I'll show you how to make a 3D scanning from start to finish with Sol 3D Scanner. I've chosen to scan a small bird skull that is 53mm long, 30mm wide and 27mm high. This size fits with my Sol scanner set in near position. If you don't remember which scanning mode you used for your latest scan, I suggest you start out by checking your Sol Create settings. Sol begins the scanning process with an automatic calibration with the turntable empty. The calibration ensures alignment between the scanner head and the turntable. When the calibration is complete, you place your object in a stable position and click OK to start your first scanning pass. Sol Creator can automatically align up to five scanning passes. To get the best alignment result, make sure that as much as possible of the object is visible to the scanner's camera and laser in your first scanning pass. Typically, that would mean to place the object in its most upright position. This is especially true if the object is small, like this one. Add additional scanning passes to fully expose your object's surface to the camera and laser. I have a feeling that this object is scanned sufficiently with three scanning passes. So at this point, I'll click no to add more scanning passes and the software now begins the automatic meshing process. After meshing, you can inspect your 3D model and decide if you would like to add more scanning passes. I'm happy with this result, so I'll click no. This saves the 3D model, which automatically opens in Sol Viewer. In Sol Viewer, you can inspect your 3D model in different renderings, such as shaded or faceted texture, X-ray and wireframe. You can also upload it for sharing or export your model in various file formats for further editing in third-party software. And that's how you scan with Sol. If you have any questions about 3D scanning with Sol, please let us know. Happy scanning! Thank you.